A very good afternoon and welcome to Leo Williams Oval. It's the BRL TV match of the round with the Karina Tigers. They are playing host to the Pine Rivers Bears. Last week, the Bears, they got a comfortable win over Winner Manly, 30 points to 10. The Tigers continue some nice form of late with a 34 to 26 win over the Normanby Hounds. I'm Cameron Anker and joining myself in commentary this afternoon is none other than Mr. Taylor Brown. Good afternoon, mate. Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Looking forward to this one. As you can see on your screens now, there is the BRL A-grade uh, points table. And we'll head over to the team list as well, starting with that team, the, the Karina Tigers. At the back, it's Liam Fitz, uh, Fitzsimmons. On the wings, it's Max Kruger and Dan Smith in the centres. And the skipper, Emmanuel tumabave Gerard and Anthony Atiri. A halves pairing and an experienced halves pairing at that in Brayden Torpy and Dre Nagatu Row. And a front row of... Uh, Ned Barbara, Harry Sprague and Joe Gilmore. Back row is Ben Wybird, Callum Rigney and Bailey Bartley. And rounding out the bench for the Karina Tigers, Jake Barwick, John Viroa, Wyan Jobert and Brock Ashton. We'll have a look at the Bears. Taylor, of course, you featured on the call last week for them. Some good signs for them, and especially that man at the back, Taj Wood. Yeah, I love Taj Wood and the way he's playing footy at the moment. Very surprised to see him in this side and not playing in the Host Plus Cup game against the Ipswich Jets for the Redcliffe Dolphins after his performance last week. It would have merited a selection in, in my eyes, but he is here. I'll take us through the team list now. Taj Wood, of course, as mentioned, at in the fullback position. Mitchell Butler and Justice Yutatoa on the wings. Samuel Alara and Trevor Monet in the centers. Tim Tupu and Cody Apuri Pukatapu in the halves. Stephen Reynolds and Chase Kavanagh will be up front with Jacob Tobok at nine. Hayden Potter, Colby Richardson in the edge back rowers with Luke Stilinovich at lock. On the chrome this afternoon they have Jacob Kerr, Troy Hanita Parkey, Clement Boyer and Liam 
Sue Tin. Couple of new faces in that lineup, Cam. Yeah, a couple of debuts on the bench there, as you mentioned, Taylor. Troy Haniti Parkey, he's debuting in A grade for the Bears um, this afternoon. Liam Sue Tin as well. Both of them have featured in this competition before, but it is debut, their debuts for this club. And Clement Boyer coming over from the French League, I hear. His debut tonight for the Pine Rivers Bears. So we can see some nice looking uh, squads there, Taylor. No Manai Sherrington uh, for the Bears, which is a big loss in itself. And um, apparently he's got a small injury there. They're hoping to get him back um, shortly, but uh, nonetheless, it's a big loss. Well, mate, you're speaking of big losses. There's also no Zacchaeus Chong Nee. Mm. And uh, physically, there doesn't there doesn't become a bigger loss. Uh, he's a, the man mountain, of course, that sits in the back row for the Bears. He's unavailable as well. So some big outs from their win last weekend. Uh, be interesting to see how they bounce back. And, of course, the Frenchman, Clement de Boyer, I think is how, <laughs> how it's pronounced. I'll have to speak to my contacts over in Europe to make sure I got that one right. But, yeah, we'll uh, get on to that shortly. Right? Yeah, we'll get on that shortly. <laughs> if, if, you've, uh, if there's any Frenchman out there listening thinking this Aussie bloke has no idea, make sure you let me know in the comment section. <laughs> And I'll, uh, I'll uh, stop myself. I'll pull myself up. Yeah, there's a score update over there as well. It's Winner Manly 20 leading the Belimba Bulldogs 18. So surprise result there at the moment. And nonetheless, though, it's not finished yet. So we'll hold tight and we'll get some more score updates as the afternoon progresses. And as you can see there, Beanley prior to leading Valleys 20 points to 18, a two-point lead for them as well, Taylor. Yeah, a couple of massive uh, results there possibly coming your way. If the Winner Manly Seagulls can get over the Bulldogs, that's huge for their season. They've needed a win. Um, they look like they were competing at stages last weekend against the Bears, uh, but the, the Bears showed a lot of class and a lot of grit to continue that form. And then, of course, over there, if the Valleys, you know, if they get rolled by the Pride, Pride are needing that. Um, they've lost to Vontae Siamanatafa, one of the leading try scorers in the competition, who came off the chrome for them. He's uh, he's missing in action, so they, they need these wins in this time of the season because... Uh, Feels like th these are the important wins now, Cam. They're the ones that are going to get you in the semi-finals, especially with the format and the bare roll competition. You need to be winning at this time of the year. Now, I just want to highlight here this um, Tigers halves pairing. It's no secret they've had a couple of wins of late. They struggled to start the year. But ever since Braden Torpy, Dre Nagatu Ro have been dropped down into this side, it's brought a little bit of stability in the halves. And what do you know? They've got a couple of wins back to back now. Yeah, that's right. They've uh, obviously had a couple of fill-ins having a go in the halves and doing their best. Um, but they weren't they weren't quite up to the standard that they possibly used to, especially with blokes like Braden Torpy and Dre, the Tare Ro. We all know how classy they can be. They've featured at that host plus cup level before for the Tigers, who are of course have a red hot season themselves so it might have just been the change they needed you know if when you get some specialists in those positions um, it really makes a difference for your side now the Bears they're out on the park here at Leo Williams Oval we we're just hanging tight for the Tigers before this one gets underway let's go to Taylor quick tip here before this match kicks off Look, in terms of a tip, I don't think I'm going to answer any questions of what I would think. <laughs> I, I'm going to have one of those answering a out. question with a question. Yep. With When it comes to the Pine Rivers Bears, they really need to stand up today without those main men mm. because the semifinals are coming up. They'll come up th quicker than you think at this time of the year. It gets cold and all the days and weeks meld into one because we're all just trying to huddle in the middle. But I think that they're going to find out themselves what they're made of today, what true metal they have. If they can succeed without those big-name players, it'll be, it'll be a massive uh, win for them, not only on the scoreboard but mentally. When it comes to the Carina Tigers, I think those lads really need to step up. Of course, they've had, as you mentioned, they've had that excuse in the back of their head not having those guys in the halves that they could have really relied on as much as a Dre and a Braden Torpy. Well, they need to stand true to that today. They need to stand up and they need to make a real fist of it because there's no more excuses now for the Tigers. It's all out there. And if they're going to be a threat at the back end of the competition, they need to show that today on their home turf. Here they are, led out by their skipper, Tumavave Gerard. Leading them out here onto the park. Pine Rivers will start with ball in hand first. Tigers to kick. But a big match here on BRL TV. We hope you enjoy the broadcast at home, wherever you are watching from. And we get stuck into this one. Of course, Pine Rivers starting this round in fifth position and Karina in eighth. So, as Taylor mentioned, pretty important game for both sides here to try and keep pace with the top four. Come finals footy, the back end of September. Jordan Morell out there refereeing this afternoon. 
Gives the ball to the skipper for the Tigers, and we are just about set to get underway here. <laughs> Let's get going to Movave. Gerard gets us underway, and it's fielded back there by Tim Tupu, and he hands it off to his middleman, who just gets stuck into some nice work early on here. So let's see what Pine Rivers can do here in their first set. Do they just tuck it under the arm and go forward and complete this set, or do they try and throw a nice trick shot early and keep the Tigers on their toes? They work that right-hand side channel again. Tobok at dummy half. Goes to Wood. Wood hands it off. They work the middle channel again, and here's a pressure reliever early, Taylor, for the Bears, and they'll get some cheap meters here to get out of their own end. Yeah, it was uh, starting to become a very good set coming out of exit for the Bears. Of course, they've made it up to almost the 40 meter line on the third tackle. Now they're given a penalty, so some cheap meters to get into Karina Tigers' territory to start this match. They love to kick off their day with a try. So Butler gets the ball. Hands it off to Alara. He goes to Richardson. Now Richardson, they're already over the 40 here, the Tigers, and their coach, Michael Sprague, he won't be happy with that start, giving them an attacking chance here with just their second set of the match. It goes to the middleman and Kavana. 30 out from the try line now, the Bears. Tobok at dummy half. Plays in motion. Goes out to the left-hand side through Tupu. Now to Tajwood. Plays in motion. Hits Alara. He gets an arm free. Hands it off to Butler. Butler comes back on the inside. Looking for a runner now. He finds one in the lock forward there in Stilinovic. And he is still going and trying to get to the try line. He's a couple of metres short here. But the Bears are on a roll already. It's Tobok at dummy half. Tupo, Pukitapu now, out the back, they got numbers again, nice bit of centre work, Justice Yotato now with the ball, comes back on the inside channel, he's a couple of metres short, Pukitapu, puts a little bit of footwork on and now he finds Tupo, they go to the left hand side again, again it feels like they got some space, Alara, he got rid of Marmel Tuyavave Gerard, and he says thank you very much, I'll score the first media of the afternoon. Yes, it's a uh, simple rugby league cam that gets the Pine Rivers Bears over the stripe for their first. We'll watch right now on the replay as it goes through the hands, coast to coast. Monet gets a good ball here. Pukatapa, I just thought he just held up the defensive line perfectly. I don't think he meant to do it, but then Richardson changes the pace and Alara just a really good one-on-one -on -one beat of Emmanuel Tumavave Gerard there. I think that just the way they move the ball and push the defensive system to their brink, the Tigers, one slip up and that's uh, that's four points. Emmanuel Tumavave Gerard, usually one of the better players and certainly better defenders in this Karina Tigers outfit, but when you're stretched from coast to coast, it can be hard to keep up. Well, like you said, they went coast to coast a couple of times in that set, didn't they, Taylor? And it just felt like they had space as soon as they got to their edges every time. And eventually, as you said, uh, Tumavave Gerard did a good job to actually get to Alara. I thought Alara would have just strolled over, but he showed his strength there. Alara got rid of a big man in Tumavave Gerard. And as you said, he's normally a, a great defender. So did a good job to get rid of him and get over for, as I said, his first meaty and the first meaty here at Leo Williams Oval. A good start for the Bears. Yeah, really good start for the Bears. It's, it's really hard when you're defending coast to coast, someone's moving you around like that. You find that you really need to work together as a line and the people on the on the outsides, on the extremity, needs to work and tie in. Uh, Tuma Vave Gerard did, did make a miss, but there was no one on the inside pushing there. And that's where the wingers are vital in pushing the squad from side to side, recognizing where the ball is. So perhaps a little lapse in judgment there by the wingers from the Tigers, and we'll uh, see if they can make up for those mistakes. So Butler now goes through his processes and it holds back in the wind, but it eventually goes over. Didn't that hold back, Taylor? Yeah, it did. There is a, there is a bit of wind about it, isn't there? It's, uh, I mean, all, we're all rugged up up top here because uh, there's, it's a bit chilly, but uh, you can see how bad it is there on that kick. Let's see how this Tigers side respond now. They've, seen, they've conceded first. Haven't had a touch of the pill yet. We get back underway. Ball somewhat holds up again. Gatapu fields it. Great carry there by Chase Kavanagh. Young fella that's come through the Redcliffe Dolphins system. He's played some lots of Colts there. And he's been great to start this match. 
Tobok now. Tupo to Richardson. Richardson gets them close to the 40 metre line. Tobok again. They work the centre. Almost to the halfway line now through Stilnovich. And there's a little error in the play the ball here from the Bears. So they almost completed the set after points, Taylor. But on the last couple of plays, we've got an error in the play the ball. Yeah, look, just a little juggle there from Stilinovich. We'll have a look at the replay. Yeah, mm. the, as much as there are a, a few feet and hands around, I didn't believe there was any negative contact there by the Tigers player. Just need to control it there. They'd gotten to the 50-meter line on fourth tackle. They had one more to go and then last. I mean, would have been a perfect end to that set after points. Unfortunately, now they're forced to defend mid-range of the field. So Tigers get their first chance now through row. And coming back on the inside is Fitzsimmons. Not a big frame, but... He does a good job at the back there for the Tigers, Fitzsimmons. On the score sheet last week. And they got a big opportunity coming up now, the Tigers. Torpy hands it off to Barbara. Sprague at dummy half now. Goes to that man, Torpy, again to the line. Now with Rowe. Little no look ball to his second rower there in Rigney. And they're 10 metres out from the try line now. Torpy across the field again. Plays in motion. Hits his front row forward there in Barbara. And the ball's come loose here from the Tigers on last play again. In prime position there, the Tigers, but just not able to complete the set there. Yeah, we look at the replay here just to see if there's anything in the tackle. No, there's not. It's just a plain loss. Mm -hmm. I, going back a couple of years ago, every time there was a loss in play the ball and it seemed like there were some arms and some limbs carrying around in there, the ref would always blow a penalty. They would always give it away. I love the crackdown they've made on, on giving the attacker the responsibility to get up, play the ball properly, don't play for the penalty. Yep. So it's, uh, I think it's something that the referees have added in in the last couple of seasons. I think it's made the game better. You get rid of those uh, blokes that are just trying to play for penalties. Now here's Wood off the back of the scrum. A little win for the Bears there in their first defensive set on their own try line. Alara now, the try scorer, comes in for some dirty work out of dummy half. Tobok to Richardson. Been strong early on, Richardson. Now, Pukitapu hands it off to his back row and... I slowed down there because I thought the pass was a line ball. Referee might have got a call from the touchy there, but it's a forward pass from the Bears, so again, an incomplete set. Mm. Yeah, it looked, uh, it looked line to me. I didn't have a real issue with it myself, Cam, yeah. but uh, look, I, I, no one was in a better spot there than the touch judge. Uh, and Jordan Morrell, he's, uh, if anyone's going to pick up on that, a team, he's uh, one of the better referees in this competition is Jordan. He's done a great job over the last couple of weeks, so... Big man too, can't miss him, mate. Eh? He's massive, <laughs> bright orange. Have a go at him. <laughs> what do you? I reckon a towering back rower in his day. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Or do you run a good line too? Yeah, run a great line. Just yeah. be all limbs. Be yeah. hard to just stop that ball. It offloads galore. Gilmore now. Big chance again for the Tigers. Now out of dummy half. It's Bailey Bartley beats one. Oh, Manai comes in and cracks him. Fell off the tackle in the end. And penalty Tigers now. Yeah, the question starts to become, when's the damn wall going to break? They've defended their line pretty well, the Bears, to this stage. But if they keep conceding penalty and uh, set after set, they're going to hit that red zone very shortly, run themselves into that uh, fitness deficit. Barbara there, Tabok. They'll get a set restart here, the Tigers. Now it's Torpy getting some possession. Finds his skipper out wide. One-on-one -on -one with Alara. Great job in defence to slow the big man down. Still a few here to go, though, for the Tigers. It's Torpy heavily involved. Just a settler play there. Got Bailey Bartley in the dummy half region. He's going to sniff out some space and go himself, but the Bears are up to the task on that occasion. Six points to zero here. The Bears still leading the Tigers, the home team. It's Torpy on the left boot. Touched by Tobok. Play on for the Bears. Pressure evaded again. Yeah, a little trap and scrap there by Tobok. 
Hayden Potter, the man in the in the moment, to uh, jump on it and grab the ball. It's a good defensive set there by the Bears. Mm. Really big moment is Alara on Tumavave Gerard in that, that far right-hand corner. Did a beautiful job defensively on the much bigger man. Justice Utato now. Just kind of broke down a little bit for a couple of times there in the Tigers in that set, didn't it, Taylor? It didn't seem like the attack was too um, fluent there. No, it didn't seem very fluid. Uh, seems like they're still adjusting. Geez, Wood's exciting every yeah. time he gets the ball. They are still adjusting, I think, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how that flows throughout the match. Tim Tupo with the kick on last here, fielded by Smith, and let's see what he can do. And there's a score update around the grounds. Winner Manly, 32. Belimba Bulldogs, 18, Taylor. Yeah, they've got they've got the squad over there at Winner Manly. It just wasn't quite clicking for them mm. to start this season. And I knew once they got it into gear, they'd be hard to stop. I wouldn't be surprised to see Winner Manly sneak back into the eight yep. with some of the experience they have. and uh, uh, Sorry, not the eight, the five, and really shake up the end of this competition. I, I like, as much as I hated playing against Winner Manly, you have to respect their yeah. club and, and the amount of uh, uh, you know pride they put into their jumper. To Mavave Gerard now. A little slip, but they're to the halfway line. And they work the middle again. Gilmore plays it back. Bartley, eventually fires its way out to Torpy. They've got to be quick here. It's the middle man with the kick on last. And no one there to put some pressure on Taj Wood. This is where he's dangerous. A little bit of broken play, and he almost split him again, Taj. And off the back of that goes Alara. Oh, ball's come loose, but he kept it. Butler now out of dummy half. He might have been offside there. I think it's Gilmore for the Tigers. Butler's still going. Look at the footwork on him. Beats a couple. Almost gets him to the halfway line. Tupo now. Set long to the right. Pukatapu now. Out the back to Manai. Couldn't handle it. Picked up now by the Tigers. Fires out to Max Kruger on the bounce. He comes back to the inside channel. Gets away from Tobok. Gets away from Yutato. And now he goes to the heart of the Bears defense. And Tupo's there to make the tackle along with Kavana. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate there for the Pine Rivers Bears. They had a really expansive setup on this right-hand edge. They looked good, but they couldn't stick that last bit of uh, skill there with Trevor Monet. Karina Tigers really need to take advantage of this. We've got to wrestle for the ball in the middle of the park. To box claiming he's being held onto there by Joe Gilmore. Referee says set restart anyway. So it's, they're really getting a lot of ball down here at the moment, the Tigers. Can they get their first points of the afternoon? BRL TV match of the round. Bears still leading the Tigers six points to zero. It's Cameron Anker and Taylor Brown with you. Now it's Torpy over the top to Tumavave. Gerard, nice footwork to get away from Alara. He beats a second, comes back on the inside again, and he's eventually tackled. 15 metres out from the try line are the Tigers. Now they go to the front row man and Barbara. 10 metres out from the try line. They're set long to the left. Do they go that way? It's Bartley at dummy half. He goes to Torpy. Torpy out the back to row. Long ball out to Atiri. It was over the top of his head, which enabled Manai to come up and make the tackle quite easily in the end. Still a few here for the Tigers. Kruger's at dummy half. He goes to row. Row, what's he going to do? He goes a short ball to uh, Gilmore, that is, and still not much on in this set for the Tigers. Now it's last play. They're three metres out from the try line. Bartley at dummy half. He goes to Torpy. Torpy puts it on the right boot, but the Bears are there first. Great defensive set from the Bears. Yeah, good defensive set to the from the Bears. Of course, Tigers put them under a few press, bits of pressure. Asked some questions there repeatedly of that that green jersey and they all stood up at every single occasion Tim Tupu fielding that ball mm. that's uh he's just known for those sorts yeah. of efforts plays for yeah. the Bears isn't he yep 100% he's just always in the right spot at the right time giving it his all Tim Tupu but again they're going to take a lot of confidence out of that the Bears just continually turning the Tigers away yeah as they should as they should they've been strong defensively to start this match and Karina haven't been too bad either apart from that one slip up so I think it's been a uh, Pretty good stand of the footy going mm. through 15 minutes. Now it's to Pukitapu on last play. Puts it on his right boot, but it's straight down the throat of Fitzsimmons. He's going to run straight into them, Liam Fitzsimmons, and he's tackled on his 30-metre line. Now they go again out of dummy half. Through Smith. Stands in the tackle, plays it back to Tumavave Gerard. Now Kruger coming in for some work. Got away from Kavana, but can't get away from Stilnovich. 
to the halfway line now here at Leo Williams Oval. Bartley setting in play. Pookie Tapu might look for a one-on-one -on -one strip here. Can't get it. Or has he got it? Yes, he has. That's a Bears ball. And that was on Callum Rigney. Yeah, that, he, Callum tried to contest it. I'm not sure what he contested about. It was uh, definitely picked up there by Cody. He's played really strong to start this match. This uh, number seven for the Bears impressed me over the last fortnight. So referee calls time off here and just tells Taj to take the 50 centimetre step back and play the ball. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Wrong blade of grass, as John Devine likes to say. <laughs> So the Bears, after continually turning that Tigers attacking threat away, now it's their chance, and it's Lara. He's already scored one. It's a good battle out there, actually, isn't it, Taylor? Him and to Mavave Gerard. Shaping up to be the battle of the match, Cam. Mm. It's uh, been really good over there. Lara getting the better of uh, to Mavave Gerard probably over the last 15 or so minutes, but there's a long way to go. Tobok hands it to the front rower there and Reynolds. This is where they want to attack from. It is last play, though, for the Bears now. Goes to Tupu. they got plays in motion. It's Pukitapu out the back to Wood. Wood says he'll put it on my right boot and look for justice. But Kruger, Kruger gets above Yutateo. And luckily enough for the Tigers, he got above the pack there. However, the Bears have got him in a corner here. Yeah, really hard to do technically for Kruger to get up and over the pack. Whilst moving backwards, trying to see where the ball is, trying to see where the attackers are. He did a really marvellous job there, Max Kruger, in the air. And, of course, it's been compounded by penalty. So the Tigers will get uh, some more cheap metres down the field. Yeah, the trademark pressure reliever penalty. The coach killer. The Tigers now will look to find touch here. Taj Wood thought he was a chance for a second there. Don't worry about Taj thought. I thought he was a chance. Yes. <laughs> It ended up being a pretty decent touch for Wanda. So the Tigers will go right on the attack here. Anthony Atiri with ball in hand. He hands it off to Rigney. Met quite well Rigney there in that tackle from Trevor Manai. Rowe. Inside ball to Gilmore. And they're set to the right here, the Tigers. Can it go their way this time? Now it's Torpy. A little bit of a stumble, but he eventually finds Fitzsimmons. And Fitzsimmons is wrapped up 10 metres out from the try line from Tim Tupo. Torpy. Bartley. Back to the right-hand side now, looking for a runner. No, he goes himself. He got away from Richardson, but the Bears' cover defence is strong there on that occasion. Kavana, one of them. Torpy again. It's all going through that man. Now it's Rowe. Puts it on his left boot. Here comes Rigney. Oh, Justice Utato gets there first. And luckily enough for the Bears, he was able to pinch it out of the grasps of Callum Rigney there. Yeah, got what they could out of that set. The Tigers, as I mentioned last set, they are continually asking questions of the Bears. And they're answering them all at the moment. The level up here for the Tigers is start asking some different questions. Start going mm. different ways about it. They've had the shifts. Pine Rivers have aimed up. Coast to coast they've aimed up. Let's start uh, throwing some question marks in there and doing something a little bit different and just disrupt the, the defensive patterns of the Bears. There's some nice contact there from the Bears on play one in this set restart. Round nine of the BRL Premier Competition. The score remains six points to zero here. Bears leading the Tigers. Gilmore. Keeps his legs pumping. Picks up a few PCMs there, Taylor. Love a PCM. <laughs> Bartley. Now to row. On the unders line is Rigney again. I'd like to see him hit Emmanuel Tumavava Gerard on a good line here. I think that could be the question they need. They start to go that way. Row throws a short ball there. Bears defensive line again up to the task. Do they go the right-hand side? Yes, they do. It's through Rowe. Rowe now to Torpy. Long ball out to the wingman in Smith. He wasn't able to handle it. And the ball eventually goes out of bounds there. Let's see which way the referee calls it here in How regards to whose feet it is. He's going to do well here, Jordan Morell. How do you deconstruct that quiche? Just scrambled <laughs> everywhere. Who last touched that? Well, he's going to give the ball to the Bears. Oh, there you go. And it's probably deserved. Their, their defense have just... I've said it a couple of times already, Taylor, and I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but they've continually turned this Tigers attack away. 
Well, it's something they did really well last week, and they, they did concede an average try to start off the match. Really soft, straight up the middle. And I sort of I looked at Brad Tallon and I said, if this is what we can expect for the rest of the match, uh, it's going to be a long one for the yeah. Bears. But they fixed it. They fixed it almost immediately. Um, and they were great defensively from then on in for the remainder of that game. So I think they've, they've carried that into this week, obviously, with confidence. And... They need to make that a pillar. The Bears have always been able to score points. Mm. They've always had very good attacking, flowing players. Uh, your Taj Woods, your Tim Tupus, etc. Yep. They need to have that grit in defence. We saw it last week, and they need to, that needs to be a mainstay of the Pine Rivers Bears. I think you're spot on there because the Bears have played finals the last couple of years, but mm. where they've gone wrong is that exact, you nailed it there. Their attack has always been good, but it's the defensive qualities that they've lacked. But if tonight's anything to go by, they're going to be a real shot this year. Well, you've spoken about trademark uh, trademark chat earlier mate defence wins premierships mm. you know chip and chase may win your game defence wins comps yep. so uh, yeah it goes to show how important it truly is that was a nice kick on last there from Pukatapu and Fitzsimmons almost found a bit of space and the Tigers needed a nice kick return there because they were under the pump Kruger comes again and there's a penalty again that's probably the only thing that's letting the Bears down at the moment once they get the Tigers inside their own end, they're, they're letting them come out too easy, aren't they? Yeah, well, the, the game has been played to our left-hand side a lot, mm. Cam. It's, it's been played in the attacking territory of Karina. Um, I'd still say Pine River seem to be oh. the better side at the moment, mm. but it has been played purely in this half. Yeah. And whilst they've, they've held up on their defensive side at the moment, creeping into the, you know, the 22nd minute of this match, halfway of the half where things can slip so they'll need to be really strong here and just cut that error out of their game sorry geez, I don't know what happened there <laughs> can we get a medic or someone to come and check on me I don't know what's doing <laughs> Kel where's the water yeah <laughs> well, what's uh, the longest yard somebody give me a date Coke <laughs> Tigers now it's a big opportunity again here to try and get this ball game on level terms. It's Torpy. You think it's going to come from him. Now it's Rowe. He finds Rigney. They're in the face of Rigney again. They've done a good job on the back rower at the moment. Well, when there's nothing at the back, it's fairly easy to know where the mm. ball's going, Kim. Torpy now. Back on the inside. They come to the left through Rowe again. A ball from Atiri, but... Manai was in his face, and they just never looked like scoring there, Taylor. Yeah, I mentioned on that, that play beforehand that, uh, look, they were up and in the face of Rigney. Well, it's easy to do when there's no other real options. That was a bit better. They had the option on the inside there. But, you know, they're not really throwing much shape on this left-hand side at the moment. They've had a couple of cracks at the right. They haven't thrown too much at this left-hand side other than a few runners in motion. Yeah. No real shape. They're not questioning, and I would be. I would be questioning this side for sure because this is the side missing Zach chong -Ni. Yeah, It's got Potter in there who has played a lot of BRL football, but he hasn't played a lot this season, hasn't played long minutes. Yep. I'll be asking Hayden Potter to make tackle after tackle after tackle and see if he's still going to be there in the 30th minute, if he's still going to be there in the 70th minute. So but they've just refused to go to him. So the Bears seem to be coming up and reading these plays quite quite easily in the end as they go on the, the attack through the left-hand side here. And who else is it? It's Mitch Butler down the outside, puts a bit of footwork on. Oh, Mitch Butler, that is absolute <laughs> class. Uh. Second try for the Bears here. Oh, no, it's been called back. It, he's called forward. Is that a knock-on? He, he reckons Over Mitch Butler line. hasn't hasn't planted it. Well, oh, we'll have a look at the replay because it was a beautiful ball by Tim Tupu. Runners in motion. Um, and who else but gets it is the mm. flying blonde mullet, of course. <laughs> I love it. It's, uh, yeah, look, he looks to have scored here for all money. One on one, beats the fullback, and oh, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think the grounding's on song there. Well, well, he he, he was bemused. He didn't know what the referee was calling there, Butler. Well, neither do I. And that's now, disappointing because what about that footwork to just do Fitzsimmons all ends up? Well, if you know Mitch Butler at all and if you've seen the uh, sort of cheeky cheeky sort of aura that he holds with him, you knew he was never passing that. Yeah. He, he could have had two open on the inside and he was always going to try a goose. Ball comes loose here. Referee says it was stripped by the Bears. So, again, the Tigers get their chance. They need to convert one here. It goes to the right through Torpy. He hits a short ball there, and it's gone forward. Yeah, not in my eyes, but that might have been the uh, that might have been the leveler there by Jordan Morrell. I didn't believe it went forward mm. to the naked eye at the start. 
Yeah, I think it was flat. Mm. Um, but that could have been the leveller. I'm uh, still trying to get over that Butler no try. Yeah, I, do, I don't believe, believe there was anything in that. Um, but one thing I will highlight is that Mitch did have a little bit of a complaint. He did say, what's doing here? Uh, but he's moved on. They've moved on yeah. fairly quickly. And like Tar Karina made some good meters there. It's got to be next action for the Bears. They got the ball back in hand. They need to work it back out. So 15 to go in this first half. It's the Bears with ball in hand. And that's Pukatapu there with... With the pill, he gets a late offload to Tabok, I think that is, but they're losing metres with ball in hand there. Trevor Manai out of dummy half, and that's a nice scoot and picks up some nice metres for his side, especially when they needed it. Tabok now. Alara. Just going back to that Butler no try, it's great to see them um, chance their hand in their own attacking half and get it out to their danger man in Butler. Even though he's on the sting out there, he can always break a game open, can't he? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, look, he's he's one of the best wingers in this competition. And just to the start of this match, he seems to have had it over his opposite number on that side. Um, so why wouldn't you keep going to that well? Look, if, uh, if you come up to me with a $50 note and say, where are the Pine Rivers going to get their next points or where are they going to attack next with a bit of shape, I'd say the Karina right side, they'd yeah. go to Mitch Butler because they've been uh, really good on that side so far. And there's the error from the Bears as a few start to creep into this match, but let's hope they don't feel too hard done by there, the Bears. Very well should be up 10 points to zero, we think, if the referee did call that one that was a knock on over the line it couldn't have been a forward pass right Taylor because it would have been called duck down this side of the field I right? don't yeah. know Cam <laughs> I don't know in good news for all fans internationally of course all the abroad people tuning in Clement the boy is on the field for the Pine Rivers Bears and no I haven't had a scoop of peanut butter <laughs> there's Jobert on for the Tigers Bartley Still playing in that dummy half roll with the 13 on his back. Gilmore got through a mountain of work. Hasn't had a rest yet. He got to his feet. Referee said play on. There goes Bartley out of dummy half. Now Torpy finally gives Tumavave Gerard some early ball. He cuts back on the inside channel. Oh, what about the offload around the corner? 360. Now they play on through Torpy again. But the defense from the Bears, they're still there. They want all of them. They're up to the task, that's for sure. Tigers still remain on the attack, though. Round nine of the BRL Premier Competition. They go to Tumavave Gerard. Little chip kick over the top. Butler's there. Might have been taken out without the ball from Smith. The ball eventually goes over the touch line there. The referee says we'll bring it out to the 10-meter line for a... He's still waiting He's still to call from his touchy. Hasn't... Whose ball is it, sir? Oh, it's almost his. He almost tripped over <laughs> on it. Uh, they've come to the middle of the field. Bit. Oh, Tigers, oh, the Tigers ball. get the ball back. Yeah, Tumavave Gerard chips, chases. Yeah, Butler almost quite gets there. Gets a push in the back from Smith. But Joe the Tigers now. on the attack. And the, this, I'd like to see him convert here. Tick Have over to. 10 to go. Row. Footwork now. Back to the left-hand side. Can he beat one more? Dre Nagatu Rowe will score the first here for the Tigers. And it just took a piece of individual brilliance in the end, Taylor. And they finally get over the stripe. Individual brilliance. Uh, mounting pressure. Pine Rivers Bears sort of collapsing on themselves in terms of giving away the ball. And, of course, the Tigers get over the line. I mentioned a couple of times during the call, they haven't asked the questions on this left-hand side. Well, they had the shape finally. Mm -hmm. And, to be honest, looking at that line, they had them in trouble whether they went to the left or back to the right-hand side. But he's very smart, Natare Rowe. He knows his strengths. He's short, low to the ground, stocky. He's got beautiful agility and great acceleration. Very hard to tackle one-on-one. -on -one. And that's where he's at his best. He's, he can sniff a tied defensive line and just decides, well, instead of trying to magic something up on the left, why don't I just put small man against big man right under the sticks? Now you've played in a lot of these situations. That defending a lot of the first half are the Bears. Does that, does, is it true that you do get fatigued at the back end of each half and tries like that can happen when a, a small, jinky little player steps back on the inside and finds a little bit of space, but enough for him to take it? Well, I never got tired on the football field, so not <laughs> of me. Of course you did. I, I, was, I found myself, personally, I felt fresher. Yeah. No, nah, mate, yeah, mm -hmm. it's absolutely true. Yeah. Yeah, once you're back-to-back -back defending, um, you find in attack you can have little lapses where you just kind of move with the attacking line. Mm. 
you just push up a little bit, you can have your break. But with defence, you're constantly thinking you've got to move up and move back. And with that, with that middle third of the football field, you're always moving up. You have to get your five, six metres every single tackle where you're on the back burner. Yep. Now, if you're tired, that, that's where your acceleration off the line doesn't happen. Um, and you've got nowhere backwards to help you make your tackles. That's where those tries come from. Yep. Just a bit of laziness through the middle. And now I think that's why some changes have been made. See Jacob Kerr in the 14 jersey coming on for a spell. You saw there on your screens just before as well, West Brisbane Panthers with an early lead over South Juniors, four points to zero over there at Brandon Park at this point. Tigers now after points almost to the 40 metre line already. Maybe they've found a surge here. Bartley still at dummy half. Goes to Gilmore again. He just keeps going, this man Joe Gilmore. Yeah, he's been super impressive. Obviously played a lot of host plus cup with the Tigers and he's bringing that experience here to Leo Williams Oval. Joe Burt plays it back to Bartley. Now it goes to the try scorer and row out the back. They're ball playing again if it's with Atiri. Atiri comes back on the inside. He beat three men and he's still going. Manai comes again and finishes him off. But what a set after points this has been for the Tigers. They're 10 metres out from the try line now. It goes to Rowe. Now to Torpy. Puts it on the boot. Looking for his outside men. Oh, Butler above the pack. It'll be tough to stop from here. Butler, it's a foot race at the moment. Butler, Butler over the 50, over the 40. He puts it on, little bit of footwork, gets away from his man, and some redemption here for Mitch Butler. Scores the second try for the Bears. What a try it was, Taylor. Well, they can't deny him now. Certainly no problems with that put down from Mitchell Butler. Talk about turning defense into attack. He had all the Tigers players coming for him here. Everyone jumping, no one catching. And Mitch Butler just turns and gets away from the pack. Of course, it's a valiant chase there by the number 20. Torpy, I think that is. It is Torpy. He just can't quite get there in the end. Beautiful step back on the inside. Kruger pushes all the way through to the end but can't get there. Smith as well, not matching the pace of Butler. Great stuff from Mitchell Butler. One of the most exciting players in this competition and we thought he might have been a little bit hard done by, hard done by uh, when we thought he scored his first try. However, this one is his first and it's probably even a bit better than the, the, the what we thought to be the first one. It's juicy. It's a it's a juicy meat pie. That's a that's a hundred meters of Mitch mm. Butler's running effort there. And uh, I don't know if Brad Talon sitting in that leagues club having a beer and doing some sneaky stats, he could tell us he he'd have some run meters by now. We get to the halftime <laughs> break, I reckon he'd be uh, have some serious run meters. If you're watching on Brad, chuck us a little comment in in the broadcast. Let us know what you're thinking in the match. But how, we have a look at this run again. And Butler, as you said, Torpy did a good job, but just overchased in the end, which enabled a man with like great footwork like he does, Butler, just stopping on a dime, come back on the inside and does the rest. Yeah, and he got he got a good five metres for a strut too, Mitch Butler. <laughs> loves a strut. He also like, he has a really good, um, I call them chook scratches, coming in for a kick. It's every kicker has a different one. They're always very fancy. Mm. Have a look at Mitch Butler's here as he lines up the ball. There's a little bit of everything in it. It's like almost like a sort of you know, spider mating ritual. You can see there's all sorts of movements <laughs> happening. And That's gold. What do you call it? The golden mullet too, isn't yeah, it? The yeah, the flying blonde mullet. The flying blonde mullet. Well, we saw it there in full effect, didn't we? There's a bit of Mitch Moses in that. Strikes it. And makes no mistake with that one. So for two from two for the boot of Mitch Butler. And he's got himself a meat pie as well. Well, I believe he kicked from 100% last week as well, Cam. So, look, if you're kicking goals like that, I don't care what sort of song and dance you put on beforehand. There you go. Could we see another upset? South Junior's got a lead over the West Brisbane Panthers over there at Brandon Park. See if we can get those other scores up from the 3 p.m. games as well shortly just to get a final result in those. As yeah. Tumavave Gerard gets us back underway. I had a chat to uh, to Mr. Ty Ingebrigtsen this morning. We ran into each other at the barber, actually. <laughs> Bit of a chance, uh, chance meeting. But he said with the amount of the Colts and the Cup side being out of action this weekend for South, he would not be surprised if they stacked their side here mm. against them to try and get that win. Of course, as a coach, you have to go into every game with that belief that, you know, the odds are going to be against you. Well, there you go, uh, yeah. full time. Winner Manly getting a much needed win over the powerhouse that is the Balimba Bulldogs. 32 points to 18. That's a big one. 
Could we see a round of upsets? The 14 out there now for the Bears in Jacob Kerr. Takes his first charge. They want a penalty. The referee says no. We play on now. Last play with Puki Tapu. Tough one here. I think that Smith might have... Or is that still Fitzsimmons? Uh, it might be Smith that's jumped into the fullback role. It is. Now Kruger. Five minutes to go in this half and score line of 12-6. I don't think it's really indicative of the, the sort of efforts that the Bears have put in, but that is going to tax on them coming into the second half. I think the, the better side probably across the board has been the Bears. Mm. Um, the scoreline reflects 12-6. It's probably been more of a, a you know an 18-6 sort of performance, possibly yeah. a 24-6 so far. But the Tigers have just held in there. They've done all of the attacking, so I dare say they're a lot fresher than their counterparts. So it'll be interesting to see what's said by Michael Sprague at halftime. And I reckon he'll be talking about errors such as these. <coughs> yeah, well, that's another forward pass from the Tigers there. We've seen it on a couple of occasions starting to get down in the attacking areas. And they've just had a lazy sort of forward pass there on fourth play and given it back to the Bears. I do agree with you. I feel like the Bears have been the better side for, for most of the afternoon now coming into the night as we see a Terry go down with an injury there for the Tigers. We might get time off here in a second. Um, I do feel like the Bears have been the better side. They probably deserve a bit more of a lead. However, they they just haven't had the field position yet, have they? They've, they've shown us what they can do, but they just let Tigers out of their own end too easy at, at this point. Not giving themselves a chance to put that consistent pressure on the Tigers' defensive line, have they? Well, defensively, they've been the better side. Yeah. Um, in terms of their attacking flair and the way that they've moved the ball around, I think they've been the better attacking side as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, they are still up 12-6, but they've just given away so much ball. Mm. They're just handing over silly ball to the Tigers. Um, and I dare say Luke Harlan will be pulling them in and saying, look, guys, you know... If, you're the better side out here, but you, you're going to make it really difficult for yourselves in the second half if you keep giving away these errors. If you're Michael Sprague going in the sheds, you're sort of... You're not happy because it's it hasn't been their best effort. It hasn't been their best. So the Tigers, on their day, are capable of beating anyone in this competition. It's the, the consistency they've struggled with. Um, but... You'd be happy that you're still within six points, yeah. if that makes sense, yeah. that it hasn't blown out even though you're not playing your best. Yep. Um, there's a real opportunity for the Tigers uh, if the score remains the same. They might even get a sneaky sneaky few points at the back end here. They'll get at least another set. Um, they can go in and just... They can scrap the last 40 minutes. They haven't mm. spent as much energy as the Bears. They haven't wasted uh, enough of their, their own tanks. So they just go, like, we just scrap it. We start again. It's a new 40 minutes, and... and uh, we start implementing our processes and our game systems now. So it'll be interesting to see what both coaches do have to say coming into that halftime break and what sort of change we see in, in these sides on the other end of it. That's not good, though, for the Tigers. Their, their strike weapon out wide, a Terry going to the sidelines. Doesn't look great. Um, let's see how we go after the halftime break to see if he gets back out on the paddock, but it doesn't look good at the moment. Keep your eyes on Taj Woody. Loves a trick play from the scrum. They go away from Taj. They go to the left in Pukatapu. He finds Alara. Nice run. Now he fires it back to his middle man, and they've got some meters here. Do the Bears. Yeah, sneaky 20 off a scrum. You'll take that every day. Here he is. Clement Blair. <laughs> I'm just going to let you call it Gets every time. Gets an too. <laughs> How good is he? So 35 out from the try line now, the Bears. What can they conjure up here? Kavana stays on his feet gets a nice play the ball back to Pukatapu now to Tupo little bit of space in between the line not fielded there by Smith I think it was eventually picked up by a Tigers back five player and they muscle up in defense here the Bears and they're going to drag him no they're not he must be very close though just outside the the try line there is Fitzsimmons. And just a little bit too eager in the end, the Bears. They give away a penalty. Well, I don't know where to collect, but I do remember saying not too long ago that when the Bears get into another attacking position, 
I could better fit, get better pineapple that they're going to push towards that left hand side, and mm. they do. Yep. Um, they almost produce results there. Smith making a meal of the pick up at the back, and uh, not his best result. Lucky to get away with it, the Tigers. But uh, yeah, every time the Bears go down that left hand edge, they just they look dangerous. I mean, we, between Butler and Alara, they're just having a field day. Yeah. Tupu is just getting his options and picking the right one every single time. There's a one on one strip from player in the 20 jump. I think that might be Liam Sutin. Might have been stitched up again. That doesn't look like Liam Sutin at all. Or That's not it? Liam Sutin. No. Is it? That is. It's Troy Hanita Parkey. That's yep. who it is. So his debut for the Bears, Troy Hanita Parkey, playing in the dummy half role. Glad we cleared that up. In the 20 jumper. Kavana out the back to Pukatapu. Now to Manai. Back on the inside. Doesn't use Yutateo. Yutateo at dummy half now. Big opportunity for the Bears just before the halftime break here. Pukitapu. Clement Boyer! <laughs> so I'm not going to say it until you do it. <laughs> I knew as soon as you paused. I knew what you wanted. <laughs> they go to the right-hand side now. Pukitapu, inside runner is Kavana there. Ten metres out from the try line are the Bears. Anita Paki. Short play again. Laid off load. Picked up by the Tigers, though. Good desperation shown. Yeah, good defence there by the Tigers. I thought that was the right option by Hanita Parkey. Had some scrambled defence. A few players mix-matched in the middle. They're all tired. Look at the Tigers. They're hunched over. Mm. They've barely survived the back end of this half. But uh, Mr. Boyer tried to get that offload away, and it just ended up in the hands of a Tiger. That's two sets in a row. They've sort of been very lucky there, Karina. To Mavave Gerard now. They are a bit bunched here. No one looks like they want to, they want to run here. Rose at dummy half. Wins it off to Joe Burt. It's a slow play. The ball well wrapped up by the Bears defence in Kerr and Anita Parkey. Torpy on last. Found a bit of space. Splits them as well. Torpy looking for an outside man. He fires it out, but the pass just wasn't good enough for his outside man. Yeah, I dare say that'll see us through to the half. And I'm really glad that Torpy was able to do that because they've been putting kick pressure on Braden Torpy all afternoon. And it's, all, like it's, it's just been a bit too much for the Tigers to handle. But uh, Torpy just shows there, if you're not going to move up together in a line, mm. I can make you pay. And yep. that was almost, you know, we're almost going into the half with an even score line, which you wouldn't expect over the last two minutes of play. But that's what we almost saw. That was Harry Sprague in the nine jumper playing on out on the wing there. He must have just come onto the field in the back end of the half. So, Taylor, anyone's ball game though, is it? 12 points to six, the halftime scoreline. But as we said, it's the Bears' defence that have kept them right in this match and eventually while well, they've got the lead as well. Yeah, well, neither side are really showing the best of themselves at the moment. I think, mm. as I've mentioned in the call, the, the lead rightfully going to the Bears at this stage of the game. They are they have been the slightly better side, but no one's really provided their, their best. So it's going to depend on who can go into the sheds, get their team chat, possibly execute their game plan a little better in the second half and play to their potential, who comes away with the points. So first half tries, just the one to Dre Nagatu Rowe for the Tigers, one to Mitch Butler and one to Sam Alara on that dangerous left-hand side for the Bears. And it's two from two from the boot for Butler and one from one for Torpy for the Tigers. That gives us the halftime scoreline of the Pine Rivers Bears 12, the Karina Tigers 6. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with you shortly for a big second half coming up.
Well, it's round nine of the BRL Premier Competition. We've got a halftime scoreline of the Pine Rivers Bears 12, the Carina Tigers 6. You can see the score sheet there on your screens, but a big second half coming up, in particularly for the Carina Tigers. Probably dominated the field position battle and field possession battle as well, Taylor, and just weren't able to come up with many tries. They got that one solo try to row and weren't able to come up with much... Uh, apart from that, so you'd think they'd want to pick up their uh, attacking um, structures and, and plays and get better in this second half if they're a chance of winning this match. Yeah, well, we have an Atmos Mike here, our, uh, our tech, Kel, and his wife, Jay. They've put out this beautiful Atmos Mike. It's just out there, and you can hear heaps going on. We didn't hear any screaming from any coaches, uh, so I guess that's uh, they, they're happy with little bits that are happening <laughs> in their team, but not everything. I think yep. they all need a... They both have those few little things to work on. We spoke in the first half. Uh, so we'll, we'll see who completes their game plan the best. But, uh, yeah, look, Pine Rivers Bears, the better side without the ball... Karina Tigers just not going and sticking to their game plan with more possession. So interesting to see what happens in this second half as Taj Rudd gets ready to get us back underway. Just trying to keep my eye to see if Itiri's made his way back out there for the Tigers. I can't see him at this point. We're back underway in the second half. There's a bouncing ball. Be careful here. The Bears are going to pick it up first through Jacob Kerr, and that's the start they wanted. Even though Kerr gets driven back a bit, they've got the ball in hand here, and there's a bit of argy-bargy as well to go with it to start the first half, oh, the second half, and they're at each other, Taylor. Yeah, look, uh, it's Kerr and Bartley. We're probably going to have a look at the replay. Um... And I don't mean to hurt Kerr's uh, chances at the uh, tribunal this week, which he certainly will be going to. But did I see a headbutt? Did I see? Did I see a headbutt get thrown? Not too sure. We'll have a listen to what the referee has to say here. Both touchies on the field as well. Jordan Morrell will call time off now. We'll see if we can get it back. Ooh, you might be right there, Taylor. Yeah, looked looked from where I was that there was a headbutt and the ref. Look, if you're going to wear a headgear, there's a pad there. What are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, not even maximum damage. If you're going to get ten minutes in the bin, you may as well just you know throw your hands up. Not that I'm promoting violence in the game. I don't want to see it. This is all ugly and messy. I, I agree. It's not something we want to promote to anyone. However, if you're going to give yourself ten in the bin, yeah, make it worth your while. You know. Well, Touchy and Referee having a long conversation here, so I won't be surprised if we see a minimum 10 minutes here. You've seen recently in all levels of, of Rugby League, NRL, and dropping down to BRL and, and Q Cup as well, if headbutts are thrown, if he classifies that as one, he could go for the rest of the match here. And they had the ball in hand here, Taylor, as well, the Bears. They got it back off the kickoff. He did all the hard work, Kerr, didn't yeah. he? Well, he's calling him out now, so let's see what happens. On your screen now when you're watching at home, BRL TV. He's told Tim not to worry about talking. He'll take the conversation. A towering figure, isn't he? Is he's a presence. Yeah, it's, this is 10 minimum. I think he's explaining a, a, uh, a send-off, in my opinion. I think he's telling him exactly why he's going to have a shower. Oh, he's let him go. Wow. Oh, no, he's oh, calling back. He's calling hang back. On. Hang on. Tachi said, no, that is the right man. Yeah. The Tachi wants to have a word now as well. Yeah, the Tachi's having a chat. He's making well, his presence known. I'm starting to feel like this is just, we're in the principal's <laughs> office. Anyone else feel like that? Oh, there we go. There's the 10 for Kerr. And that's really unfortunate for the Bears, isn't it, Taylor? Yeah, look. It's, like I said, he did all the hard work off the kickoff. He got them the ball back. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna pull Tim Tupu for a chat up after this. I don't. I don't understand what's happened there. He's pulled him away and then pulled him back and pulled him away and you know and then all of a sudden he's ten in the bin. So Bartley getting called out now as well. Does, does he get ten, Taylor? I don't. Well, I didn't see anything that merits mm. ten in the bin, but we're about to find out, aren't we? I wonder if he'll get sent away and then brought back. <laughs> well, the touch has gone to the sideline now, so yeah. no, he's fine. So we're going to go yeah. twelve on thirteen. So big ten minutes coming up here for the Tigers. But the Bears get the penalty. How? So they've got a player in the bin, but the Bears get the penalty. So it must have been he's given the penalty for first push, and then Kerr's reacted to that first push. Yeah, but if you if you striking someone. Yeah. You like to think that's yeah. going to change everything, doesn't it? <laughs> so Bears go on the attack here with 12 men. Interesting turn of events there. They get the ball in their hands. It's Pukatapu now dummies and goes himself. 
Joba in the tackle. 15 out there now as well in Jake Barwick for the Tigers in the headgear. Now they come to the left-hand side. It's Tupo. Oh, lovely piece of footwork. Tim oh. Tupo, yes, sir! What a try from the nifty halfback for the Bears. And that's exactly how they wanted to start the second half. Oh, we'll take your man off the field. You don't need him. And Tim Tupu is just going to run to the line with that sort of effort and just stops and jinx. We'll have a look at the replay here. Tim Tupu had numbers all around himself, just directing traffic where he needed it to go. Gets the ball in hand. Yeah, he recognised. Oh, does them both all ends up, doesn't he, Taylor? Yeah, he, he really does. He, uh, it was he, the two interchange players as well, Barwick and Jobert, those that, that got caught there. Yeah, they just mm. get caught. They mm. get caught uh, taking a few photos, sitting in the chair, and Tim Tupu, he's got that sort of agility to uh, make a meal of any defensive line that's going to attempt to sit in the chair on him. So beautiful work by Tim Tupu, and... Not only does this extend the scoreline, but it's just going to wind down that clock while they have that player in the mm. bin cam. I'd be telling Mitch Butler to take his time. Per it's, it's pretty much a perfect turn of events for the Bears after losing a player for 10, then scoring on that set. And now, like you said, you're getting to slow this conversion, conversion down, taking time off the clock, and they've extended their lead with with uh, 12 men on the park. Just having a look here, Cam, at the replay again, there's probably a little bit of an argument for an obstruction. Just have a look. As you see the number 19 in Clement Boyer, I have to say it, sorry, <laughs> in the line. He just, see, he just stops in the line. Yes, and, and gets it in does. the way of the number 17, which is Joe Burt. Yeah. And it, it, it's not much, mm. but it's enough to stop him from even touching Tupu. Yeah, well, you have seen those pulled back, haven't we? A, a lot, especially oh, up in the NRL. Absolutely. I mean, it, it did stop Joe Burt. He still had an attempt at a tackle there, but it made Joe Burt try and go round his opposition player. Had to go the long way. Mm. Had to go the long way. Yeah, that's. It's, I didn't see that live, and yeah, now that you brought that up, that's, that's interesting. Butler strikes this one. Strike looks pretty good. He just gets it inside the sticks, and... He remains perfect from the boot. Three from three for Mitch Butler. Well, going over the last five minutes of play, if you're a Tigers fan, I can see how you'd feel pretty gypped. Mm. You know, you, you get someone from the Bears in the bin for a striking charge, but somehow they get the penalty. Yeah. I, I still um, find that strange. I'm not sure what... Yeah, Very strange. I mean, yeah. it, clear as day, there was a headbutt thrown. Absolutely, mm. that happened. There's no disputing that fact. Um, after the headbutt was thrown... The striking charge, that's just null and void. Bears mm. still get the penalty. Strange. And then that seems like it was an obstruction yeah. now looking at it again. Although, yeah. I will admit live it was hard to pick up. Yeah. But if you're a Tigers fan watching that, you'd think, well, haven't we got the stiff end of the straw yeah. to start this uh, second half? Absolutely. We see a short drop out here from Tumavave. Gerard went about 15 metres, but well picked up in the end from the Bears. And uh, because that didn't get much distance on it, they'll start this set outside their own 30 metre line. Helping themselves with that kick off the Tigers. Haven't touched the ball since the Bears have had 12 men. Here go the Bears again. A little juggle from Kavanaugh there. He's been strong too, hasn't he, Taylor? Yeah, really strong Kavanaugh. Hasn't had a break yet. He's been one of the Point River's best. Hanita Parkey. Tupo. Inside ball. Who is it? Boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Hanita... Let's um, let's never hear me do that again. Oh. Alara now, some space down the left-hand side. He's got Butler if he wants to use him, and he will. And Butler picks up his second try. And that is the second try for the Bears with 12 men on the park. Oh, super impressive stuff here from Taj Wood. Although they have less men on the field, he senses an overlap. Just a cheeky in and away on his opposite number. We'll have a look here. It's not a quick play, the ball by Clement Boyer. He, it's quite slow. There's Tigers players all in there. But it does have Braden Torpy trapped. You see Taj Wood just going the short side. Beautiful oh. quick hands. Tumavave Gerard shoots, but he doesn't have Barbara to shoot with him. And unfortunately, he's just been caught out. Now, look, having a look here, there may have been something that you and I have missed, Cam, in the last, uh, I'm going to say, at least 10-plus minutes after the halftime break. They've got a front rower defending on the mm. wing. And then, of course, just before the break, remember, we had someone else def uh, defending and attacking on the wing. So there must be some sort of injury news coming out of the Tigers camp that we haven't picked up on yeah. because Barbara in that position, you know, he didn't do very well, but he's a front rower on yeah. a wing, one of the hardest positions on the field to defend. Um, good vision by Taj Wood to recognise that. 
And, uh, and well, he does an exceptional way. job here, Taj. Well, he cops a shot for his troubles, but that's a great pill. Mm. Alara, mm. beautiful change of direction while the ball's in the air. Uh, so, yeah, look, beautiful icing on the cake, but why is Barbara defending on the wing? Yes. Why is he there? Well, we saw Itiri get injured just before the halftime break. He's obviously not out there. I don't think we've seen Smith in the second half either from memory, yeah, or I haven't Smith's, had to call his name. So Smith's at fullback. Yeah. Um, and Kruger, I believe, is still out there as well. So I think Fitzsimmons is off with an injury, yeah. and Atiri is also off with an in yeah. I injury, meaning they've got they've lost two from their back line. They have yeah. to have someone filling. I think what they're doing here, by the looks of it, is that they're playing a middle on the wing, and they're going to try rotate them to use less interchanges because yeah. they don't have as many up their sleeve. Yes, that is. We'll keep an eye on that and watch how that plays out because they've obviously targeted that left-hand side again, haven't they? The Bears, yeah. they're loving it down there. And um, they're getting their rewards, that's for sure. Toughest kick of the night here for Butler. Can he remain perfect from the boot? He's got two tries, getting that bag of points up again, Taylor, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. is. He's uh, Look, he's certainly one of the most electrifying players Strikes. in the Bear Roll competition. Ooh. Oh, Geez they, geez, they wobble a bit, those posts here at Corinna, didn't they? They're still wobbling. I oh, know. Get a good R&B song on, and they're pumping down here. But, uh, yeah, Mitch Butler, one of the most electrifying players in this competition. He knows how to find the try line. He knows how to kick a goal. He was just beaten for that coveted most point, highest point scorer last year by Brandon Jaconia, of course, from Winner Manly. But uh, if he keeps having this season, I think he's going to be hard to beat. Yeah, well, he started the year with 62 points. Of course, the Bears have a game in hand as well. They missed one because of the, the flooding and, and the weather in Brisbane over that period. So Simon Britton Snowden, he started the, um, the round in top point position. But you can probably guarantee that Butler's overtaken him with two tries and three conversions as well so far. Yeah, well, the, the who knows what's happening over there with that game at uh, between Souths and West Panthers. I'm just having a look, and West have hit the front. 16-12, of course, over the South Juniors. So it'll be very... Uh, no points for Simon Britton Snowden so far. They come so to the right. left again. It's Wood to Alara. Here's Butler. Does he want three? Alara sums the situation up. Oh, he went himself. Oh, he went himself, and he's left the ball behind. I think uh, Alara's still on the floor. We did a player on his inside and his outside. Butler on the outside. Not sure who he had on the inside. Might have been Hanita Parkey. And just didn't take the correct option there, Alara. Yeah, he did. And he held the ball. He ended up losing. I think he was trying mm. to appeal for a high shot. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, when you're making errors like that, you just have to cop it on the chin, I guess. That's a part of rugby league. Well, here we go, Taylor. The Tigers finally got ball in hand while the Bears have 12 on the park. And they get a penalty to get out of their own end, but they haven't much. They haven't got much time to work with now, do they? No, they don't. And uh, you'll find the Bears may only need to defend one, maybe two sets down a man. They mm. also have a good 40 meters behind their back. Yeah, a good 40 meters behind their back. So it's worked out almost perfect them. for the Bears, haven't they? Well, it has. They've yeah. scored two tries in this period. You know, 22-6, and uh, they won't be short for too much longer. Now, Tigers finally getting their chance, their first real attacking chance in the second half. That's Barwick. Sprague out there now in the dummy half area. Joe Burt with ball off Torpy. 35 out from the try line. Sprague, they go to the left. Work the middle channel again. Nothing too flashy so far in this set. They go right, short play to Joe Burt again. Again, just Tigers rucking it upfield. 15 out from the try line now. It's Sprague to the left-hand side through row. Short play. Not much on for the Tigers again. Equally good defense from the Bears. They go short, little kick through from Rowe. He bats it back and they play on now through Torpy. The referee says he got there. So the Tigers, they peg one back here. Yeah, they needed that. The Tigers, Drain Atare Row jumps out of acting nine, attempting to put a little kick on there. Bounces back to him, and he, he managed to regain the ball. There's the play before. Just asking questions of the Pine River side while they're one short. Natare Row jumps out, attempts to have a little kick, mm. comes off wood straight back into his hands. And then uh, Torpy pushing up is all good. Well, I wasn't sure if he got do. it because he was right in line with the, the, the padding there on the post. So 
The referee had the had the best angle you can assume, and he says that's four points to Braden Torpy. And the good thing for the Tigers there, it's right in front of the sticks. So if they are to make a comeback here, they want to go up in sixes. Yeah, it's an easy conversion there also for Torpy going going for the kick. But in other news, Mr. Jacob Kerr is back on the park for the Bears. So we have an evenly matched ball game again. They've also made some interchanges. We have Liam Sutin and Stevie Reynolds back on the park. Kavanagh getting his long-awaited rest. Yeah, what and I believe that's Clement Boyer getting some time off the field as well. So, fresh middle here for the Bears. They also get Kerr back. Well, a 10 points to 6 period win there for the uh, for the Bears in, in that stint that Kerr had on the sidelines. you take that, wouldn't you? Any day of the week, mate. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Wood gets us back underway. A swirling one here at Leo Williams Oval. Fielded there, and Jobert with the run back, and Alara's in his face. Butler's there as well. I think that might be Richardson down low with the tackle. It is. Tupo on the left here. Sprague to Mavave Gerard. To Barwick now. Good defence from the Bears again. They slow it right down, and Barwick takes an age to get up and play the ball. Now to the middlemen in Viroa. One of the interchange players for the Tigers. They're winning the wrestle on the collision every single tackle mm. here. Yeah, the meters they're giving up, but they're winning everything else. To Mavave Jared with that run. The referee says play on, he wasn't held. Anita Paki over the top. Rowe now to the left hand side. Puts a little dink over the top, finds some space as well. But Taj Wood is going to get there first. And right into Callum Rigney, I think that is on the kick chase. Yeah, nice little uh, kick from Natare Rowe. They weren't cracking him that set, that's for sure, and decides to put the ball on toe. Just reset in defence. Sort of grinding mentality that the Tigers will need. He's trying to rev up the side there, Natare Rowe, and see if he can get a reaction out of his players. Bartley there, trailing back to the line. Manai into the Tigers' defence there. Anita Parkey. Hands it off. And again, they go to Pukatapu, and he finds some space with his kick, finding a few uh, metres of turf there and a good kick chase as well from the kicker himself. Oh, beautiful defence by himself and uh, Potter. Just a really slow play. The ball dominant. Get a chance to set their line. Oh, but they're not all moving up together. Kruger across field, but eventually the Bears get to him and drag him back a good five metres. Richardson been really strong in defence on the left-hand side edge. To Mavave Gerard now, a bit of late footwork. He beat one, he beat two, but they come again. Kerr over the top to make the tackle. Go to Liam Sutin. There's a big charge. Is that Gilmore back out there for the Tigers? Gilmore is back out in the park, but that wasn't that wasn't him. Who was that? That was the number 11 in Ben Wybrid. Ben Wybrid, good charge from him and then backed up by that man Gilmore now. <laughs> Last play now for the Tigers, starting to get back into the grind of this match now. Goes back to Torpy. Torpy puts it on the boot. Yutateo a test. Oh, he couldn't handle it. Referee says knock on. Well, Mr. Torpy puts up a Torpy. It's extremely hard to track through the air. And Yutatoa, who hasn't had too much to do with this second half mm. so far. Hasn't had much of the hand, the, the ball in hand in the last 15 minutes. Maybe a little cold out on that right wing for the Bears. Makes a crucial mistake. You see, it just got away from him at the end and straight through the bread basket. It'll be uh, the Tigers ball. If they can go back to back here, it's going to make a world of difference. Could be looking at a 22-18 ball game. Yeah. Tigers mm -hmm. much improved in the last five minutes or so. The Bears had some really good defence in place, but they just slip one or two plays and let the Tigers straight back in. So off the scrum now is Torpy to Tumavave. Gerard, he got away from one. He's dangerous here. He got away from two. He does a little 360 spin, but eventually they come and make the tackle. That's Tim Tupo desperately making it. 
now Torpy hands it off to Barwick. Big chance again for the Tigers now. They're five metres out from the try line. It's Sprague at dummy half. Goes to Torpy. Inside play there to Gilmore. Gilmore takes about four of the Bears' defensive line to wrap him up. He's two metres short of the line. They're full of running now, the Tigers. It's Sprague. The referee calls time off and just sends us into a little anti-climax. He's having a conversation with Mr Kerr. Um, he's already had a chat with the referee, <laughs> of course. It resulted in a 10-minute spell, so... Any more chats I would have thought may have resulted in some more time. Play back on. That's not a good pass. It's picked up by Smith, though, and he comes back to the inside. Wrapped up by Pukatapu. They slow it down again, Bears. Potter it is over the top. Now they all oh, big oh. contact, and it was a good charge, but equally as much a good piece of contact there by the Tigers. It was Bartley with the run. Now it's Torpy looking for a double. Oh, he beats one. He beats two. Can he get the ball down? No, he can't. Referee says we'll take that out 10 metres and go again. Yeah, we're going to have to get a trainer from the Tigers to come out and check that post. Oh, that was last play. It's actually a changeover. Jeezy hit it with some gusto. Have a yeah. look at this. And it, and it properly moved. Like yeah. it was, There's genuine concerns <laughs> here for it's the post. Yeah, the Leo post Williams. is still It's going. still shaking. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going off. So a bit of work in front of the Bears now with Yutateo. Stuck inside their own 10 metre zone. The Tigers are starting to turn the screws, but that's a nice run from Alara. He's been good out there. Yeah, he picks up a good 15 metres in that run. Really All the way from his, from his left-hand side there to come over to the right to take that run. Here goes Tajwood. He's found some space. Tajwood now. He's got a runner on his inside in Pukatapu. Oh, oh the ball went forward. It's picked up by the Tigers there. Went for forward and hit the deck, but Tajwood... Just injecting himself in the game for the Bears when needed. I would have liked to see him hold the ball there. Oh, one-on-one -on -one oh. strip here. It's Alara again. He had one to beat. Luckily enough, the tackle was made for the Tigers players, but they're playing on here. They're full of running. It's Trevor Manai now, 10 metres out from the try line. Go the Bears. Uh, here we go. It's all happening. Butler's stuck on the sting out in this left-hand side, but he wants the ball. Hanita Parkey, inside runner now is Jacob Kerr, just playing that middle sort of forward role and taking whatever um, charges he needs to. Now it's Tupo, already scored an amazing try. And there's that footwork again, Tim Tupo. What a player he is. He's a metre out from the try line now. The Bears trying to put another one on here. Hanita Parkey out of dummy half. Has he got himself a try on debut for the Bears? No, he hasn't. The referee's going to tell him to play the ball. It's last. It goes back to that man, Taj Wood. Little step, jink, come back to the right-hand side, throws a dummy, needs to get an offload. He does so. Oh, pass through the legs. Play on. Pukatapu now. Kick coming through. Manai can't get there, but the Tigers get there first. Yeah, well defended by the Karina Tigers. Real scrappy play from the Bears. They're just trying to make something work, and that's... Usually when a side's at their most dangerous, they drop all their expectations and they just play football in front of them. When you have attacking weapons like Taj Wood in your side, that could mean absolutely anything. But the Tigers aimed up. They started to show some real grit in their last mm. 10 minutes worth of play. They've definitely turned this around, haven't they, the Tigers? You would have thought for all money the Bears would have scored on that attacking set and they did a good job eventually to hold them out. What well, about? I'm going to be honest, Cam. I was waiting for the time in which the Pine Rivers Bears just started to come over the yeah. top of the Tigers and this turned into a massive ball game. Yeah. But uh, they've shown some real grit. There's a high shot there by Stevie Reynolds on the number 13 there in Bailey Bartley. I don't think there was any intention involved, but he is... A little wobbly. Mm, he's gone down again there. Now yeah. he's just saying it might be a bit of cramp. He might not want a HIA, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's on report. Yeah, he's on report for that one. Actually, I think it's Kerr that may have been involved in it. We'll have a look at the replay here as he comes in. It didn't look like too it's much. It's not that one. It? I think it could be the next one after oh, this. Oh, it is too. Yeah, sorry. My apologies. Here he comes and... Uh, Oh, was oh. it for that Kerr coming in on third yeah, man in at the legs? It, yeah, third man in at the legs there. Well, so. Kerr's got to be hes got to be careful here. Yeah, look, I'm really glad that the, the, the game's making a stance on that third man in. The mm. amount of tights, yeah. you, all you think about when you're out there in standing those tackles is who's going to attack my knees. Yeah, That's yeah. what you're really worried about. So it's a really good call by the ref there. Jordan Morrell is having a pretty good game. Oh, here's a big chance for the Tigers here, trying to get us up to... A six-point ball game here. Currently down by two tries. Rowe to the left-hand side. They go that way. It finds its way out to its wingman. And Kruger, I think that is. But the Bears' defense, again, they're up to the task on their own try line. Yeah, really good 
ball movement there by the Bears, just getting getting it. Uh, no, sorry, ball movement there by the Tigers, just getting it out to their wing, asking questions, asking questions. But in the end, the communication between Justice Yutatawa and uh, Mr. Trevor Monet on that edge, you can see them talking, communicating, in and away, checking, moving, checking, moving. And they just drag Max Kruger into the sidelines. I do like that ball movement, though, from mm. the uh, from the Tigers. They have struggled to get the ball out to the wings on that left-hand side. I'd like to see Drain Atare Rowe maybe hit a short ball now that he's, he's exhausted yeah. those options and, and just ask another question of possibly a uh, Mr. Cody Apuri Pukatua. Reynolds now. Balls come loose. Referee's going to say play on here. The Tigers wanted to knock on. It's Alara again. What a second half he's having. He might get a laid off. Oh, he opted not to throw it. And he's gone on top of his head here. Tumavave Gerard's appealing that Elara's made a jump there to make it look worse. But I, anyway, we have a Bears penalty. I agree. I mm. agree with Tumavave Gerard there. I, I, he did. He jumped and he fell on his own head. We'll have a look at the replay here. But, um, yeah, look, what it looked like for me is, look, I don't think anyone's... He's grabbed a leg and then, he, yeah, mm. he's jumped on his own head. So... At what stage Which sounds you, silly when you say it, right? At what stage <laughs> you just say, get up and play the ball? Yeah. I mean, you're appealing for a penalty. Look, it, it's worked in his favour, but it's something I'm not going to want to keep continue to see. I don't know if you heard that through your effects mics at home, but that was a big contact from that man, Tumavave. Gerard, here's Tupo again. He finds Alara. Space in front of Alara again. Dummied himself again, but at this time, he will get over the stripe, or did he? Yes, he did. The Bears are happy about it. Alara's got himself a double. The referee points to the spot. Eventually, the Bears, they come down that left-hand side again, Taylor Brown. Yeah, it's the left-hand mm. side again. Timmy Tupu, this, uh, this time instead of Taj Wood, recognised it was a beautiful run there by Colby Richardson. Great contact, but still manages to fight his way out to a quick play the ball, which is surprising with the numbers in the tackle. Tim Tupu gets Alara one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Then, of course, don't worry about the pass. He's just going to oh. run straight over the top of Smith, yeah. who's uh, just uh, couldn't match the physicality of Alara. Standing yeah. on his haunches and, oh, cop that. Yeah, he says, see you later. Straight on your backside, and it's mm. a meat pie for Samuel Alara. Well, this left-hand side's having a field day, aren't they, the Bears? I mean, Taj Wood, when he chimes in, Tim Tupo scored a try, and now we've got two tries to Butler, two tries to Alara. And Butler could well have have had four this afternoon we got he got one pulled back in the first half and then the other one which it's fair to say that they bombed when Alara didn't go mm. out to him and ran himself yeah that's right they're looking really good down the left hand side here the Pine Rivers Bears this is a this is a Pine Rivers Bears outfit that's also still missing Zacchaeus Chongni Manai mm. Cherrington and they still have that attacking flow um, so it's uh yeah this this left edge Tupu Richardson Alara Butler oh, it's one of the best in the it's competition. Nice. Yeah, really classy. And they'd be good when, when the, the opportunities have, have have come this afternoon and going into this evening. They've been really strong down that left and they've taken them uh, probably nine times out of ten because we can say Alara did bomb one there when he d opted not to go outside or inside and went himself and, and coughed a ball up on that one occasion. But, however, he's got two tries. He got, he's got an assist as well. You'll take that any day of the week. Well, all the points for the Bears have come down this edge. Mm. Two to Butler, two to Alara, one to Tim Tupu. Yep. All the points. Yeah. So, so that's telling you something, isn't it? I think Dan Smith started on that side and now he's gone to fullback. Mm. So he's been involved on that side as well. And I think we've been keeping an eye. Is Barbara still out there or not? No. No. They've actually switched Kruger, have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have. Yeah, so, so they've they noticed have. that they keep going that left-hand side. They want a specialist winger out here now. Yeah, they put yeah. Kruger out here to defend yeah. um, with Torpy as yeah. well. However, here is Barbara lining up in the centre position. So... Mm. So oh, have they? No. Round update, of course. The South Logan Magpies and the West Panthers Ooh. are now drawn even. So they kicked off same time as us. There's only 15 minutes to go in that clash. Well, the unbeaten West Brisbane Panthers, Taylor, is a danger here, this south side. I mean, I, I know they're sitting bottom of the pile, South, but the games that I've managed to catch of them this year, that they weren't that bad. They, they, they have been in games. It's just in periods they let it go, and sometimes they can let too many points flow in that certain period. Well, the Tigers better be careful because that might just happen here at Leo Williams. Mm. Reynolds. 
So good set after points again from the Bears. That's Kavanaugh's second for this set. Both have been great hit-ups, coming out of trouble. Last play now, they're 35 out from the try line are the Bears. It goes to Pukatapu. He beats the first. He gets it to the right-hand side now. And they say, finally, we got some ball. Yutateo comes back on the inside looking for his own meat pie, and he will get one too. And the Bears are starting to roll. Yeah, the Bears looking really good here. Cody Apuri, Pukatapu, they had some kick pressure on him. Not too dissimilar to what we saw on Braden Torpy at the back end of the first half. Yeah. He beats one, beats two, gets the ball to Trevor Monet. He watched the replay here. Heaps of kick pressure there. Beats one, beats two, and then it's just a simple numbers game. Trevor Monet gets the ball away to Justice, who still had a lot of work to do. He had to beat three defenders. Mm. Gets over the top of Smith at the end. And finally, the Bears have some meat pies over on that right-hand corner too. I love this bit of footwork. If, see if we can roll back to the start of that play again from Justice. It wasn't the first bit. It was the second second bit of footwork he put on there. The, the first chase had come up thinking he was going to put the kick through. We'll have a look here. He gets away here from one, but when he gets away from Rigney there, I did it and all ends up, didn't he? Rigney yeah. almost fell over. It's a great piece of play from Pukitapu. Yeah, eventually getting Justice over. Yeah, a couple of broken ankles out there for the Tigers. <laughs> and uh, we go back live to see Mitch Butler lining up for this kick. Well, just as the Tigers start showing some promise, the yeah. Bears put their foot back yeah. on the gas. You like to think now... Well, now it's 32 points to 12, Taylor. It wasn't long ago we were saying they are a chance here. <laughs> yeah, well, it mm. wasn't long ago where it was 22-12 and they mm. looked like they were about to score and we thought they could make this a four-point ball game. Yeah. Um, but... Just been super impressive here, the Bears. And you'd like to think now it's almost a foregone conclusion that they've won this match. Just yeah. how they finish it off is going to be the telling tale and what uh, Mr. Luke Harlan's going to take out of it. So Butler here. Score remains 32-12. Nice looking strike again. Gets a bit of backspin on it and he's got it over the sticks as well. So Butler. Five from six with the boot, I think it is. It is five from six. He's having 2018, now the Panthers are over the top of the South Logan Magpies team. So South be, Juniors Magpies, sorry. They'll be creeping to the last 11 minutes of that match as well, like we are here. The Tumavave Gerard, does he go short? He goes sort of mid-range here. Do we have a leap? No, Butler says, thank you very much. I eat those for breakfast. And he spins and turns and goes straight on the attack here. Puts Alara down the outside. Alara comes back to the inside channel. He got away from one. Trying to get away from a second. He's still going, Alara. They're dragging him, but he's going towards his own try line. He's still going. Plays the ball back to Hanita Parky now. And they'll get a set restart again. Richardson gets an offload. Now to Tupo. Hands it back into Reynolds. And Reynolds goes over the halfway line on just second tackle here for the Bears after points. Hanita Parky now. Little a short ball to the 17 there in Su Tin. Now go again, Hanita Parkey to Kavanagh. They're rolling again, the Bears. They look so dangerous and they go to Sutin. Now to crash play there to Reynolds. Play it back. They go to the right-hand side. It's Pukitapu. Now there's space again. Little kick through coming from... Oh, oh. Utates has picked it up out of nowhere. And Justice now has himself a double. Wow, Justice Utato scores two tries in almost about two minutes. Reminds me of that triple he scored out at Ipswich mm. in the Host Plus Cup last year. But beautiful kick and lead-up work here by the Bears. Apuri, sorry, it's uh, Cody Apuri Pukatua. He gets the ball out the back, and Taj Wood just puts a beautiful little kick in and Justice, body on the line, just wants it more than yeah. anyone else in a, in an orange outfit out there and beats the oh, race to the ball, just, just beats out Smith, leaves him clutching it air. He just snatches that. No one wanted that more than Justice there. And now the right, si right side says, thank you very much. Hey, we can do it as well. Yes, they can. And uh, well, well, not the right side, just Justice. <laughs> just Justice, yeah. Yeah, so you, anything you blokes over there can do, I can do as well. And of course, with, when we talk about the wow of a season, well, 
the wow of the two seasons, a couple of seasons back to back that Mitchell Butler's had for the Pine Rivers Bears. It's hard to to talk about the rest of their outside backs, but of course, Justice Utatawa's had a couple of good seasons. Uh, he hasn't outshone Mitch Butler, but who else in the competition really has? Yeah. Uh, they've had Justin Worley several times in this outfit. I think he may be with Host Plus Cup duties tonight yeah. against the Jets, but they really have had such a good back line. See Malara playing regular footy there this year. He's also yeah. had a, a, some, a very good season, so they've arguably got one of the best back fives in the competition, the Bears. Yeah, I think you're right, Taylor. I think they're actually genuine dark horse to, to go all the way in the comp this year. I well, mean, it, like we spoke about earlier, all they had to do was uh, fix up their defence because we know how good of attacking footy they can play. And they've shown it here tonight in phases, albeit, but they have shown us how dangerous they can be. And uh, although, Karina, we thought they might have been in, back in the match not too far ago, they've only scored 12 points. One of those off was a solo effort from um, Rowe, and the other one was from Braden Torpy where they got a deflected kick and Braden Torpy eventually went over. So... Mm. Look, I think I think the Braden Torpy kick's a bit more unlucky than the other one. Mm. The Braden Torpy try, sorry, because you get a kick deflection. It's very hard in those instances to to stop tries. But mm. uh, and the Dre one, of course, he comes back into tied defenders. Yeah. Regardless, they've been very solid in defence, mm. and it's been since that try they let in last week against Wynnum. Yeah. They've just you know bricked right up and. Yeah, super impressive defensive performance tonight. And you'd like to see that continue for the last eight and a half minutes. Yep. So round nine of the BRL Premier Competition. It's now the Bears starting to run away with this one. 40 points to 12 at this point. It's Cameron Anchor and Taylor Brown with you. We hope you enjoy the broadcasts wherever you are watching from at home or if you're out camping, wherever you are. Let us know your thoughts on the match. Let us know who you think man of the match is in the comments below. Now Tim Tupo to Richardson. He's found space. It's that man, Alara, again. He wants three, or does Butler want three? He hands it off to Butler, and Butler will say thank you very much. That's a triple. Yeah, it could have been his fifth. We've mentioned before. <laughs> he gets another sneaky kangaroo, Mitch Butler. He got one in last weekend, too, for Indigenous round. But uh, he's setting this competition alight. Beautiful work from Colby Richardson there. Gets yeah. a short ball off Tupu. Hits and spins. We'll see here. Short ball to Richardson. Hits and spins and gets the ball away to Alara and then just pushing up as all good wingers do. Yeah, Mitchell well, Butler said, over again. Who was it going to be? Who was going to score their third try there out of Alara or Butler? And Alara took the correct option on that occasion. Went out to his wingman who was unmarked and Smith had no chance of getting out to Butler there. Yeah, it's, uh, look, it's starting to get a bit ugly here at Leah Williams. You've still got a good seven minutes to go. Wasn't and just the way the Bears are scoring tries, I wouldn't be... Do we hit the 50, Cam? Well, it wasn't long ago you said, I was waiting for the Bears to get to that point where they roll onto the match, kind of like what we're seeing now. Mm. But we thought it might have been a bit uh, uh, a bit too far for them to go that. But they've just turned on the Jets, haven't they? They really have. Mm. They really have. They've, they've turned on that attacking flair and... They've really come forward in, and into this game in their own, you know, just shone through their own skin, really. And You asked me if they'll get to 50. Look, there's still 6 minutes 45 on the clock, Tara. I, I would have to say yes. The you way have to they're say going. yes on yeah. form. You have yeah. to say yes. Um, so it'll be, it'll be very, very interesting to see what they actually do with the ball in hand. I'd like to see them get even more expansive. The mm. game's put away. You've shown a really good defensive effort so far. Like the, As I said, one try, a little more fluky. Um, the other try, look, they were a bit soft through the middle, but yeah. it was after a lot of defence. You can excuse that. Uh, well, you can't excuse that, but you know there is reason there. You can cop there. that here and there. You can cop yeah. it occasionally. I like to see them go, let's just go a bit nuts here. Yeah. You know, let's, let's really pour some points on and see how we go. Well, they got players that can do it. I know Butler loves a a little chip and chase, so too Tim Tupo. He's been known for that in, in his years over the BRL competition. And uh, Pukitapu, he's he's dangerous as well on his feet. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they do go on the attack straight away after they receive this kickoff here as Butler nails that one again. He's seven from eight with the boot. The one he missed was the one that hit the sticks, Taylor. Yeah, well, uh, Troy Anita Parkey, he's obviously in a tighter match over there. Score 22-18. Sorry, not Troy Anita Park. It's Simon Britton Snowden. Mm. Uh, I'll correct myself, Troy Anita Park. He's obviously playing for the Bears. But Simon Britton Snowden in a, a lot closer of a match. I think, well, he has. Mitch Butler's scored more points today than the West Brisbane Panthers <laughs> have themselves over there. So he would have let frogged Mr. Snowden, of course. Get the ball here, do Who took the that? Bears. Who took that hit up, Kim? 
<laughs> Don't make me say it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Boyer with that take off the kickoff. And it was a nice one at that from the Frenchman. I don't even know if he's French. I just know he came from the French League. Nah. <laughs> he's French. He's French. He's from Champagne country. So just some quick maths in my head. 26 points for Butler tonight. Whew. Can we get someone to check him? Can someone check him in the comments? I'm not backing him in there on the fly. <laughs> so... Go again, Kavanagh to Reynolds. Is that Tabok back out there now for the Bears? Is it in dummy half? Switch of play, and they are starting to try some things. Little jinking kick from Pukatapu, but just fielded out there by Kruger. I'm still not sure who's playing this right-hand side wing for the Tigers, but um, it seems like they just keep swapping, like you mentioned earlier, Taylor, and they lost... Um, uh, Anthony Atiri, they've just they haven't been able to deal with it, have they? Well, they've lost two outside backs, mm. and all the try for the Bears have come through the outside back. So mm. there is a level of what ifs for the Tigers here this afternoon. What happens if we kept those boys on the field? What happens if it was an even matchup in that stance? Um, but oh, here we go, Tumavave Gerard chased down by who else but Mitch Butler. So we've got the 19 out on this side now, which is Brock Ashton. I don't think he's been out there the whole time, though. Jersey still looks fresh, doesn't it? So maybe they've thought we'll just give Brock some minutes out there just to try and fill a void because they've had all those injury dramas in the outside backs. Yeah, so it, as I mentioned, there's a, there's a little bit of what-ifs this afternoon for the Tigers. I think if they can push themselves around here to score some points, as a, I'd like to see them get a bit expensive as well. Why not? The game's yeah, gone. Well, yeah, absolutely. Let's just throw yeah. something out there and see what sticks and, and go from there. Try something. Oh, Gilmore runs straight over the top of Tobok. Yeah, good charge from the big man, but again the Bears slow it down just when they needed to. Torpy, Rowe. Oh, ball, bouncing ball. Not sure that was the option there from Rowe. He's kind of got held up in the defence there and didn't know whether to throw it or just take the tackle. Eventually it just bobbled out and went straight to the Bears. Well, the option there should have been to go short. He hasn't really gone short on that left edge at all, and... Uh, Wybrew went through relatively untouched. If he had the ball in hand, it, it would have looked perfect, but he, but he just didn't. The ball didn't get there, so yeah, a little disappointing on that edge. The Bears, they're starting to roll again. This time through Su Tin. Torpy in the tackle. Barwick there as well. To Bok. Why wouldn't they come this way again? Tupo sweeping Wood, and Wood's... Oh, he found some space again. Alara was going through. He opted not to throw the ball. Butler went to dummy half. Now to, to Bok, and they hit the centre channel again. They might want to keep coming this way. They do. They get six again as well. They might not need it because Taj Wood's gone through again. He's looking for a support player. He's just going to go himself, Taj. Oh, a little bit of footwork as well, and he puts the icing on the cake for the Bears, and they are absolutely running right here at Leo Williams Oval. There's your 50, Cam. Less than two on the clock. There's your 50. Taj Wood. Been electrifying for the past fortnight throughout this competition. No one deserves a try more than him. Yep. The way he's just conducted this Pine Rivers Bears attack, he deserves it. Just pushing up like any good fullback does. In and away there on Torpy. No match. What about and this? Smith oh. breaks his ankles, breaks oh. some more ankles. And he'll go straight, almost close to the sticks. But, uh, yeah, look at this. Just bang. Some of the footwork they have shown these Bears outside backs is absolutely marvellous. That's first class from Taj. See you later, Smith. See you later, Rigney. They just got done all ends up. Taj Wood says thank you very much. He's got a couple of assists, and now he's got himself a try as well. And Butler looking yeah. to go eight from nine here, I think. Well... I said it last weekend after he had a couple of try assists and a try himself. At what stage just got him married? You can't ignore form. Yeah. You can't ignore the form. Oh, he of butlers. Wood. He scraped it across the face there. I thought he was in for all money. Seven from nine for the boot for Butler. How do you ignore the form? He's just been outstanding after getting his host plus cup to, to boot Taj Wood. To one, probably the best in the competition. Mm. Um, and in a, in a Dolphins outfit that has not been really performing this year, as much as it pains me to say it. <laughs> I was going to really say, is that hard for you to say, mate? They have not been performing <laughs> at all. Um, 
They are up at the moment, 6-0 to the Jets over there Would he, You'd expect Morton them Daly. to get that win um, tonight, wouldn't you, against you the would, Jets? But, yeah. uh, look, I at what stage do you just give young Taj Wood a go and just, yeah. just put him in? I know Trey Fuller's there. Trey Fuller's an outstanding player, but Taj Wood can play in the halves. Taj Wood could come off the bench. There's many things you could do with him. and uh, Look, I... He will keep developing in this competition. We saw Tyson Gamble spend a whole year in the BRL competition. And then the following year, he played three games of host plus cup was signed by the Tigers. Yeah. So we've seen that happen before. Maybe this is a long-term thing for Taj. But, yeah, look. Oh, he's certainly putting his hand up, isn't he? Saying, you, yeah. And like you said, sometimes you just can't ignore form. And, and I'm going to be honest, the way he's lighting up this BRL competition, I'd be throwing him into the host plus cup off the bench to see how he goes. Mm. And... I'd, look, if I was the Dolphins, I'd be having a look at him. Like, yep. He may be one of those players that fills up a, a spot in the squad from the local side because yep. he can play in the spine. Um, he's electrifying. Um, why not give a bloke like that a preseason? Why not give him a chance? Yeah. See how he goes at host plus cup level back end of the year and see what happens from there. We've seen the Dolphins have signed uh, Valance Tofade from the Brighton Roosters. He's gone two weeks in a row of three tries each mm -hmm. in that Brighton Roosters side. And I think he went up to cup tonight I think he's yeah, playing for the Dolphins. Post plus Cups so, debut yeah. tonight for Valence yeah. Tafare so um, yeah he was brought over by Wayne Bennett and the Dolphins from mm. New Zealand specifically uh, from Rugby Union. I don't think he'd even played a game of Rugby League before he come over. Peter O'Sullivan recruitment guru getting him to the Dolphins for 2023 so I'll be interesting to see how he did, does go tonight at Morton Daly Stadium. So a massive second half here, Taylor, from the Bears. That final score, 50 points to 12. Three tries to Butler, two to Alara, one to Tupo, two to Utateo, and uh, one to Taj Wood. And for the Tigers, one to Rowe, one to Torpy, two goals from two for Braden Torpy. And I think it was seven from nine from the boot from Mitch Butler, which gave him a bag of 26 points for the evening. Um, it was just all about that left-hand side in the end for the Bears, wasn't it? It was about that left-hand edge, and, and obviously there were problems defensively for the Tigers as well as injury issues. But, uh, yeah, look, they were just so strong down that left-hand edge, and uh, you really can't fault them. The Bears were strong all, all over the park, but particular on that left-hand edge. Here's their first on that edge, of course, Sam Alara beating Emmanuel Tumvave Gerard, and that was probably the closest try on mm. that edge. Everything else was just yeah. mind-boggling, wasn't it? Absolutely. We'll just have a quick look at some of these tries before we bid you for well. This was... The sole first half try for the Tigers, just in a solo effort from the half there and Dre Rowe. After this, so of course the Bears um, had a player in a bin there in the bin for a bit as well. They scored two tries in that period. But what about this from Butler? He scored three, but was this the best of the lot? Yeah, I believe it was. The 95 meter effort from Butler, well chased by Torpy, who in fairness would have got him, but Butler just stops on a dime and pushes himself for the old rugby union dive. Over the try line. And, uh, yeah, there's that vision again of Torpy swinging it at, at air. I think it's safe to say oh, Mitch Butler will go to the top of the charts again in the point scoring competition here in the BRL Premier Comp. We see this try. This was the sin bin, actually, here with Kerr and, and Bartley. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a Wednesday night job, that one. Mm. That's a Wednesday night job. Be in the middle of Milton there, having to plead your case. And again, they go to this left-hand side. Hanita Parkey was good when he got his minutes out there on debut for the Bears. I love this one from Tupo. What about the footwork, Taylor? Yeah, it was really beautiful work by Tim Tupu. It's just, uh, look, it's left a bit of a mental scar for me about whether or not that was truly yeah. uh, obstruction in the mm -hmm. line. But regardless, Tim Tupu, some beautiful skill. And uh, didn't he have a good, ga good game tonight? Once again, we go down the left-hand side. Was well, this the one they sw swing it? No, it's Taj Wood chiming in. That's a great ball. That's an underrated ball. And Alara finds Butler in the corner. But that lead-up play from Taj Wood was just exceptional. It really was. Yeah, short ball to Alara. Run a really good line. Barbara tried his best as a front rower defending on the edge, but couldn't track down Butler. And, and there's not much you can do there. The Tigers, we thought they were... Getting back into the contest here as we see a kick deflection from Rowe and Torpy managed to find his way to the try line here. And we thought, hello, they're a chance. And as, pretty much as soon as we said they're a chance, the Bears said, yeah, nah, 
yeah. we're, we're going on with this. Well, as much as it was a lucky try, there was a lot of information around those last couple of sets that made us believe that something had yeah. stirred within the Tigers and they could have possibly made this happen. Um, but it wasn't to be, and the Bears just continued to roll through and uh, make a meal of the Tigers towards the end there anyway. See here, that's the penalty from Kerr. Yeah, really, really thought Kerr might have got some extra time in there. Here's that big shot by Tuma Vave Gerard, but Richardson just rolls out the back door. Quick play the ball, which allows Tupu to play on the up and up. Short ball to Alara, finds his gap. Really thought he'd made a meal of that one, but he steamrolled <laughs> Smith. Didn't he what? To uh, score his second try of the afternoon. Then they started to go to the right through Pukatapu, and he found Trevor Manai, and then Justice started to come into the game when... He says, Butler's already got two. I want a couple myself. Yeah, well, uh, Justice Yudatoa had a lot of work to do there once he got the ball in hand. It wasn't as easy as uh, just catch and put the ball on the ground. He, he still beat three himself to get that try. And then, of course, this is Justice Yudatoa's second, just being more hungry than everyone else. Getting Being the first to that ball of a beautiful Tajwood kick. Another try assist to him. And then... Getting closer towards the end here. It was Tupo to the line. A lovely play from Richardson to find Alara in space. And this was Butler's third. Thank you very much. Slams it over the stripe. And to cap us off, how we finished the match, talking about this man, Taj Wood. Yeah, he, he gets an offload here mm -hmm. from Clement Boyer. And uh, this is just completely individual solo effort. Beats one with strength. Beats two with a beautiful left-hand step. Bang, bang. Freddie Fittler-esque. And he scores the try to bring up the 50 points. So, uh, Taylor Brown, 50 points to 12, mate. Always a pleasure calling some games with you, mate. And in the end, it was a compre comprehensive performance from the Bears. It was a comprehensive performance. And uh, I guess that question I asked at the start of the match, can they perform without the Cherringtons, without the Chongnees? They stood up today and they absolutely can. We thank you for your time at, hope we, uh, at home. Sorry, We hope you enjoy the broadcast and we will certainly see you on the next one for the next BRL TV Match of the Round next week. Thank you very much.